everybody, it's Carrie with Seed to Spoon and Marty is joining us again today also. He wanted to plant some seeds today. So we are going to plant some sweet pepper seeds. And so this includes sweet peppers and bell peppers. I'm very excited, and banana peppers. I'm really excited to plant these out. We have several different varieties of these peppers and we are going to plant them in our biodome today. So I was gonna go ahead and get the biodome started. Okay, Marty decided the best place for him to be was on the table so he could see first row what was going on here. So what we are going to do is we're going to take these refill sponges over here and I'm going to put them in some warm water just to get them soaked so that way we can put them into the biodome and they will be ready to plant some seeds. And we are going to let these soak for about 15 minutes. So while those are soaking, I'm gonna go through, I have these huge package of these plant labels that I ordered through our app. And then also this garden marker also, which has come in super handy. I love it so far. But even in the super humid environment over here in this other biodome I have going, none of the marker has smeared or anything and i feel like a regular sharpie would have already like worn off completely so i'm super excited about these but i'm gonna go through and fill these out for all the seeds that i'm gonna do right now just to save some time later on So it's been about 15 minutes now and I'm going to go through and I'm going to move these over into my biodome and get them ready to plant. So I'm going to go ahead and get started planting my biodome now and this is a 40 cell biodome. So these are kind of the medium sponge sizes for in here. I've been planting out the 60 one, so this will be my first time doing these larger ones. And I'm hoping with by doing them with these peppers, I may not have to up pot quite as much as I need to because it's gonna be quite a while until our peppers go outside. Like right now it's below freezing out there still. So we're, it's, it's gonna be a little bit. So I'm hoping that these will last them a little bit longer than the smaller cells will. This first variety that I'm doing, I'm really excited about. The name is fun. It is a sweet pepper. It is called Candy Cane Red. So I will pop up a picture of it too up here. It kind of gets its name because it looks a little bit like a candy cane. It has like kind of almost like stripes on it. So I'm excited to try this one out. It's supposed to be a sweet pepper. I love growing the sweet peppers because having the kids around, they will actually eat the sweet peppers and the banana peppers and the bell peppers. They like those ones. So I'm excited to give this one a try. This next pepper that I'm going to plant is a sweet pickle. This one is supposed to be almost like a really big bush and keep it along with the holiday theme. It's supposed to be dubbed like the Christmas tree lights because it looks just like those bulbs that you hang from your house. They look really pretty and hopefully they taste really good too. So I'm going to get these ones started also. The next variety that I'm going to plant is a banana pepper and this one is called Sweet Sunset. It looks as pretty as it sounds. It is supposed to turn a beautiful yellow color and then if you can harvest it at that stage but it will also go to a uh, red color too if you let it sit on the vine for longer too. And it's supposed to be incredibly sweet and tasty and crunchy. I'm very excited. I love banana peppers so I'm very excited to try this one out. This next variety, I'm moving into some bell peppers. And this one is the California Wonder. And California Wonder is always known for being extremely prolific. So it's gonna give you a lot of bell peppers. 
and they give you some beautiful green bell peppers and then those peppers can turn into red if you let them sit on the vine long enough too. The next sweet bell pepper that I'm going to be doing is a orange blaze. So just like it sounds, it is a beautiful orange color. You can harvest it when it is green, but it is supposed to be, um, whenever it turns orange, supposed to be taste even better and have a lot more vitamins whenever you eat it. So it'll be much healthier for you. Next, I have a sweet rainbow blend. This one I'm probably most excited about because it has a variety of five different colors. And I mean, me, I love all the different colors that these plants make. So I'm really excited about this one just to see the colorful peppers that grow on it. Can't wait to see the different colors we get. This one is also supposed to be very disease resistant. So that's always a really good thing too. The next bell pepper is a Parks Whopper 2. This one I'm excited about it, it. Well, I'm excited about all of them, aren't I? <laughs> but this one is supposed to be a really high performer. It's supposed to do really well, give a high yield of harvest whenever you go to harvest it and very disease resistant and just a really good performer. So I'm really excited to try this one out because we've never tried this one and I really love my bell peppers. So I'm excited to see how well this one does. What are you barking at, huh? So last but not least, definitely not. This one is a pepper blend petite color. So this, it sounds just like the rainbow, the sweet rainbow one that I'm doing, except this one has like miniature bell peppers. So they come in all sorts of different colors, um, and but they're gonna be little small bell peppers. So perfect for stacking. And if you just want to have a little bell pepper, these ones will be perfect. I'm excited to try these cute little ones out. The kids will also really like these ones. They'll be really excited when they see these. So now that I'm all done planting it, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water down at the bottom. I had some water left over from whenever I soaked these sponges. So I'm just gonna add some down there at the bottom. And then now I'm just going to put the lid on top too. And whenever I put this lid on, I'm going to make sure that these are all on the closed position because I want to make sure that the, this gets as much humidity as possible. And so that way it'll make sure that it stays nice and humid in here. Whenever these seeds are sprouting, I want to make sure that these are closed. So that way they are getting as much humidity as possible. And then once they all sprout in, then I will start to open these up and then take the lid off too. So now all that's left for me to do is to take these underneath some grow lights. I have my indoor ones still occupied. So I'm gonna take these out to our shop area and put them under our grow lights that we have out there. I forgot to mention also, I am going to, whenever I take them out to the shop, whenever I put them out there, I'm going to put them on some heat mats also. Peppers really like the heat and they germinate a lot faster whenever they're warm. And because it is quite cold here, especially in our shop too, because it's not heated in there, it's insulated. So it's warmer than it is outside, but Still, I wanted to give them a little bit extra warmth, so we're going to put them onto a heat mat. And don't forget to, for the month of February, you can be entered to win your own biodome. It is not this exact one. This is a 40 cell, but it is a 60 cell, which is actually the one that I have behind me back there. So that's the one that we are giving away for this February. And if you are interested in hearing more about that, it's really easy to enter. Um, I will include the link down below in the description so you can go check out that video all about it. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comment section and I will get back with you. Thank you so much for watching everybody and we'll see y'all next time.